So how do we build community to tell a story uh, about something in their community? They come up with an idea for a story about people in their community who are making a difference. Uh, one of our stories recently is, uh, you know, I, I, I have not been a proponent uh, of our war. Uh, uh, I'm very critical of it. I find it difficult at times to muster up much uh, interest and support for anything to do with the war. But one of my students started working on this project uh, in Atlanta, Georgia on uh, wounded warriors. She was interested in the people who come home from serving in the military and the lack of health care they were getting and the lack of what was happening in VA hospitals, the, the, the really suffering that these people were going through upon returning to the United States. She started to get this information out. She, she, her influence has been so strong uh, that, that it really pushed congressional hearings and started to find resources, not just right now, not just stop yet, not, not just little halo kind of things, let's make this hospital good, uh, a whole rethinking of what we're doing with these wounded soldiers is coming back. And for me, I, I wasn't too interested in the story to begin with. You know, I thought, oh, it's a, it's a, this is supporting the war in some way. I, I was having a hard time separating out supporting the war from caring about the soldiers who were there serving in the war. Uh, but her story made a difference. Another story that uh, came to my attention uh, was a, um, not a homeless shelter, but a, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, a food kitchen uh, in an eastern city. Now, it isn't that there's a food kitchen, because there's food kitchens in lots of places. But the story that got told about this food kitchen isn't, isn't that they provided meals, it's that how they provided the meals and who they provided the meals to. Uh, they didn't see uh, these people as, uh, uh, they saw these people as their guests. One of the things they did because they saw the people coming into this kitchen as their guests was they decided that families should be able to sit together. They decided it shouldn't be a cafeteria line uh, going through and helping themselves off trays. They should seat their guests, they, so they provided tables of four. Uh, tables of six, depending on the family size and, and who was coming in. And then they waited on the people. They served the people. They brought them the food because they treated everybody with respect and dignity. They learned to know their names. They started to provide a mail service because a lot of people who are homeless have no way to access any mail. So they set up a mail room at the, at the food kitchen so people could get their mail there. Uh, the number of things that happened in this a uh, kitchen were so impressive and the people there. It wasn't a place that I was thinking a lot of people were going to run down there and go to go to work at another food kitchen. But what I thought the story told us is how we need to treat people with respect and dignity. And if we do that, and we can do that through many places, but the story really was about how they did that in this setting. Uh, and this is a place where the number of people coming to that, that uh, kitchen has increased over the years. Uh, it hasn't decreased, the number has gone exceedingly up. So they're doing their very best with very little, but it's really about how they treat the people in that environment. That's the best part of that whole story. That a community this size with enough resources could really start to make a difference. And so what would we be like if everybody could get their stories told? What would it be like if we were a place of uh, hope and promise and that we actually used communication for what it's meant to be? That root word of communication is commune, community, communion. That means a wholeness, a togetherness. And so the idea is that mass media should be that thing that's really serving all of us to link our ideas together because it's the absence of ideas and the absence of voice where we don't move forward. So the ideal community where we actually come together in dialogue, dialogue doesn't just mean discussion, it means raising the hard questions. It's an open free dialogue where we're using communication to make the better uh, is the ideal environment. Uh, a level playing field would make all the difference in some of these discussions. Put in that uh, level playing field so people can raise the questions and move together as a community. So community, communication, using media for the positive, the future of Spokane would be great. There's more people speaking, there's more people raising questions, there's more people saying the status quo is not good enough, we could be better. Uh, let's bring people together to make a difference. That's what I'm about.